All right, now we're starting arithmetic and geometric sequences day one. So there's going to be a day two of this, but today is the first day. Let's start off with some vocabulary. So the first vocabulary word is arithmetic sequence. And I'm going to write the definition of it. As I write the definition, I want you to write it down as well. And don't forget to think about what the meaning actually is, as opposed to just writing it without thinking. Okay, so if you just write it without thinking, it's not helping you in the long run. All right, arithmetic sequence. Oops, is a sequence of numbers in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. Okay, so almost ran out of space there. If you run out of space, that's okay. Just fit it in there as best as you can. All right, and then we move on to a geometric sequence, which is a sequence of numbers in which the ratio between any two Consecutive terms is a constant. Okay, and so let me take you underline to this word, the word difference. Let's underline the word difference. The word difference here is like when you subtract two numbers, okay? Like the math difference, so the subtraction, that difference. And the word ratio over here is like when you divide two numbers, okay? So that's your ratio, is when you divide two numbers. So with that in mind, let's talk about common difference. Common difference is the constant Constant is just a number that stays the same. So it's the number that is added to the next term. Oh, to get the next term, sorry. and is typically represented by the variable d. So d for difference, d for the common difference, okay? And we'll go into some examples of this later if this isn't making any sense to you yet, but so don't worry about it. And the common ratio is an integer. That means a whole number or fraction. It's a constant. So the common ratio is an integer or fraction constant and mm, let me be more specific, not just and. The common ratio is an integer or fraction constant that is multiplied to get the next term. and is typically 
represented by the letter R, okay, by the variable R. Okay, so let's start off with these first um, set of problems over here. So according to our instructions, which we always have to read, it says, determine the common difference for each arithmetic sequence. So right now we're only dealing with arithmetic sequences. Let me highlight the word arithmetic sequence. So you know that we're going to deal with um, the sequence of numbers in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. Okay, and so let's take a look at our first pattern, our first set of numbers. We have 11, we have 9, 7, 5, and it keeps going. So the pattern over here is that we are taking away 2 to get from 11 to 9, and taking away 2 to get from 9 to 7, and taking away 2 to get from 7 to 5. So subtract 2 each time. Okay? And so in order to get the letter D, the common difference, we need to do a small calculation. So if we know it's an arithmetic sequence, then we know that we need to take the two numbers. Let's choose any two numbers. You can choose the first two. You can choose the second and the third. You can choose the third and the fourth. I'm just going to choose the first two. We have 11 and 9. Actually, no. Let's choose the second two. We have 9 and 7. Just because, okay? No, no reason. You could choose the first two. And what you're going to do is take the second number, so 7, minus the first number, so 9. So 7 minus 9, and then you get negative 2. So your common difference, your letter D, is negative 2. And notice that this negative 2 represents our pattern, which is subtracting 2 each time. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one, which looks harder because it's fractions, but fractions are not scary things, okay? Fractions are just numbers, just like all the other numbers that you know. Fractions are regular old numbers. So in order to figure out the pattern, we know that we can take any two numbers. So for example, I can choose these two numbers, and I can take the second number and subtract the first number, and I will get positive one-third. So two-thirds minus one-third. Remember when you are subtracting fractions, you keep the denominator the same. So there's a 3 here, there's a 3 here, then there will be a 3 on the bottom in your answer as well. And then the top part is what you subtract. So 2 minus 1 equals 1 is the numerator on your answer as well. So 1 is the top number on your answer as well. So we have that our common difference is 1 third. Notice that it is a positive 1 third which means that this time, instead of subtracting a third, we are adding a third. So the pattern is to add one third each time. Okay. Let's do, let me see, is there anything else? No, I think you guys can do the rest. Um, let me know if you have any questions, okay? And don't be afraid to make a mistake here and there. We're